here we are. This is <laughs> Mono Market TV, the Crafting with Shalin show, and you are about to tune in on a fantastic episode. Today we have the most, the most adorable camper project for you to create and fall in love with. But listen, before we get started with the details and how to do it and all that, don't forget to call your friends. This is our party. Mm -hmm. This is your time. This is the time that we get to hang out together with friends and talk about things that we love getting, hanging out yeah. with like-minded people. There's nothing better than that. So tell your kids, you're not allowed in the room. Tell your <laughs> husband, go away. This is me time, right? So <laughs> let's right. enjoy it. So share, hit that share button. Don't forget that for the best viewing experience, just go to mondomarkettv.com. On there, you'll see the video. There's a chat box where you get to chat, chit chat with us, send in your questions, your comments. Uh, so that is the best place. However, I am also checking Facebook and YouTube. So if you prefer to hang out over there, that is cool with us. Mm -hmm. Just uh, hit that share button and let us know that you're out there. And yeah. do you, I want to know, do you like to go camping? Tell us. Tell us where you like to go camping too. Ooh, yes. Because mm -hmm. so, some people glam camp and some people oh, yeah. camp. That's the new thing now. Yeah, glam yes. camping. I could glam camp as long as I'm in a cute, rustic camper. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You know. So, so tell us what, what we're going to do today. Well, today we are going to paint this cute thing. And I love this. I think this will be the cutest thing on your table or even in your camper. You could actually mount it onto the wall in your camper. You can hang a string in the top of it and it can be a birdhouse if you want it to. But I just think it's adorable. And if we can pan over to our example, oh my gosh. Look how cute that is. That is so fun and it's yes. so exciting and it's so cute. And I just love all the vibrant colors and how it looks. So in your kit, you're going to get this that's not painted. There's nothing on it. You're going to create anything that you want out of it. So you're going to get um, this and the little blocks, the poles. But can you have me the table and the chairs? Oh, yes, of course. So look how cute. These are going to be unpainted. So mind you, you're going to have to get the paint for this. Do you want the little carpet yeah. too? Yeah, let's put the little carpet. <laughs> this is a little 60s to... vibe, yeah. Look at so, these. If you'll just show them. These little pieces of wood you're going to get in with your kit. So you're going to get your string, your um, little flat pieces, your spool, everything that you need wood-wise <laughs> and your um, string is going to be in your kit. Very but then cute. you're going to take what you love and you're going to create your own camper or your glamper. Nice. Glamper. <laughs> okay, we have a new hashtag glamper. So. <laughs> hashtag glamper. Glamper. By the way, by the way, we've got Diane Kelly watching us. Oh, welcome, hi. welcome. Oh, Katie Storbo says hello. Hello, hi, Katie. Katie. Uh, we've got Wilma. Wilma said she's Wilma. excited about this project. She shared it yesterday even. <gasps> um, Thank you, she Wilma. She said, Wilma said, I don't really enjoy camping. I used to go camping in tents. Like serious camping. You know what? That's how I grew up. You throw, well, actually, we didn't really even have tents. We had so many kids, like we had a basketball team, and they were mostly <laughs> boys, all boys except for me. We would just throw our sleeping bag on the ground with a tarp or something, and that's how we camped. It was kind of cool, but, you know. But, you know. I don't want to do it now. <laughs> now it's about the glamping. Sandy yeah. is watching. Welcome, Hi, Sandy. Sandy. Oh. Yes. Oh, I just love our fans. We have the coolest <laughs> fans. I love it. So, Kate. So this is what we're gonna do to get started. So when your kit arrives, you're gonna have this just beautiful, cute little camper. And it's kind of that retro camper look. I love it. Because that's in, you guys know, huh? <laughs> the campers are in, the little retro campers. So you can do it any way you want to. I've done that one in the orange, lime, um, and white. And all I did for that one, and I'm gonna explain really quick, is what I used was I actually took scrapbook paper so i'm gonna let me have you show this over there so all i did was cut out pieces from scrapbook paper to oh. put on the top oh. of the camper so if you look at the top of the oh, camper and the, table, example, too. and the table i cut out the flowers so i cut these out i cut my triangles out for the banner 
out of a scrapbook piece of paper. Clever. So it doesn't take very much. This is 12 by 12 sheets, and look, I have extra. So, you know, Wild Melrose might get, you know, a little neighbor or something. <laughs> Maybe a little baby camper one day. Who knows? So cute. We'll do a little baby camper. But so that's what I use. So today I'm going to do this one a little rustic because that's that's me. So I think I'm going to um, I just want to show you guys how easy it is to just create something fun. And this is really fun because everything is done for you. And when it comes, just take your sandpaper, just touch it up a little bit. It doesn't need very much. Um, the way they've done these is pretty much everything uh, has, it's been cut out and it's smooth. But if you don't like some places, like right here is some glue. Let's just sand it down. And then just pick your colors. So, you know, if your camper's green and gold, put green and gold on there. If you like the, the things that are more rustic, do a rustic one. And if you like it vibrant, like Wild Melrose. <laughs> I mean, when I was making that, I thought of, you know, Nash and Shahar because they're, they're avid bear hunters, huh? Uh, photographers, yeah. yes. <laughs> they don't hunt them, but they take great pictures of them. And by the way, in case, if, you've see, if you watch the Sparkle of Creativity show, you'll know that Shahar just got a camper. She was driving through Wyoming, found it in a field, got it, took it home, and now she has embarked on this journey to uh, remodel it. Yeah. And so Shalyn was like, She's I have awesome. the perfect thing for us to do. <laughs> and she did this one, the wild Melrose for Shahar. Because that's what they named? Yeah, that's what, what she named it. And mm -hmm. these are the colors that she picked for her camper. Yeah, so, so it's super really cool. kind of cute. So she can just put that somewhere in her camper and it'll be just fun. I just love it. So any anything you guys do, it's gonna be really, really cute. But today I think we're gonna do just a little more rustic because honestly, you could take this and make the cutest country farmhouse Christmas scene on your table. I mean, your kitchen table, it would be darling. So think outside the box and try and um, think of something that's going to pop. You know, if you, when you get this kit and you decide that you're going to, wherever you're going to put it, if it's down in a rustic room or if it is in your camper, just match it to what you've got. So I'm going to pick um, a red for the top. And the reason why I'm going to do red is because in our couple of, um, demos before this we have had some farmhouse crafts that are for christmas that are red and black and so i'm going to try and make this to match and do a whole set so i think it'll be really cute but like i say when it comes you just choose whatever colors you want and go for it and you can add cute little accessories too so so just be brave and step out of the box and do it now um, there is a hole in the top and so when it comes, there will be a string in there. You can either cut it off or you can leave it. If you leave it, wrap it with tape so that you don't paint on it because you want to keep the color of the string, you know, kind of clean. But I took mine out because I'll do something else. But see, that's a very rustic red. That's not, that's not anything that's too bright. That is the kind of red that will make a statement for sure. This will. And if you have the black and white checked um, houses, have you seen the decor with the black and white check now? Uh-huh. I love it. I think it's really cool. And you could add just a little touches of reds and golds or coppers. But I mean, it's it'll suck up the paint really fast. It's a very lightweight wood, so you're not gonna get something really heavy. And we're just gonna paint Ooh, I'm this. I'm liking that already. I know, isn't that kind of funky fun? And I mean, the, the way when we, we start creating and we start using our love of the colors, it just, it just makes things so much better. It's like when I was making that, all I could think about was Shahar. And I'm <laughs> like, oh, she would love this. Oh yeah, she would love the fur. And that <laughs> fur is actually from the Christmas collection I got at a local craft store. Wow. So, I mean, I just cut a little piece off and you know, you can make all kinds of stuff. So, and this is the perfect project for a gift, even because oh, if you yes. know, if you know someone who loves to camp, 
Mm -hmm. I'm a t a talking to my director, uh, Chase here, whose father has been remodeling a camper for a while. Chase, hint, hint, this would make a great yeah, gift Chase. for him. Yeah, Chase. Yes. That would be awesome. Well, and um, you know, too, the cool thing about stuff like this is, you know, your kids, if you give something to your kids, if your kids like camping and they're married and they have cute Christmas decor, I'm sure my, my daughters will be kind of like, oh, mom, that's really cute. Hint, hint. So <laughs> that's, it. but it's a good Christmas gift. It really is. You're spot on on that. And it's thoughtful. Mm -hmm. Well, and two, you know, how many of you, and I'm going to date myself here. When I was growing up, campers like this were common. Like we didn't think anything of it. It was Airstreams and vintage wasn't existing then. You know, we had these little campers were kind of a necessity and that's how you camped unless you had, you know, family like mine that has eight. <laughs> then it was like a truck or a van. But I mean, the cool thing is, is it takes you back to your childhood. And I'm sure Shahar looks at that camper and goes, wow, but I don't know if she had one of those growing up, but she, yeah, she used to camp she? with her dad or oh. with her dad and mom and family. See, we do things because we have memories that make us feel good. We buy things and we, we, and this is why I think that's probably why I love, I love this project so much. I was also surprised at how light this is. Yeah. Actually. When I mean, I it really it is. And it's actually meant to be, um, well, it was created to be a birdhouse. Oh. And I thought, eh, no, <laughs> I'm going to do this the Shea way. So there, look, while we were talking. Easy peasy and easy peasy. super pretty. Got a top there. So we're going to just rinse that. Um, I'm going to do the inside uh, and the, the back side with an antique white. I don't want the bright white um, just because I'm going to tone it down a little bit and do a little stain on it eventually. But and make sure you always shake your paint and you buy a good quality acrylic paint. And by the way, while she's getting that paint, if you'd like to, 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 get to, to, to work on this project yourself, just go to mondomarkettv.com. We have there the kit, the vintage camper, vintage wood camper kit for you on sale during the next 24 hours. So take advantage of that, our introductory price. This is an adorable, adorable, fun project for you to make. It comes with pretty much everything that you need. It comes with the, with the actual camper, wooden camper. It comes with the white string. It comes with the wooden pieces, the little table, the little seats, everything. All you need to do is sit down with your favorite beverage and your acrylic paints and just have a good Go time creating and designing this project. So mondomarkettv.com, that's where you go to get your vintage wooden vintage camper kit. That's really good. You said that good. Yeah. <laughs> now look, I mean, really, I love crafts. You know me. You guys all know me. I love crafts that are fast, but really cute. And this, this is cute. I keep putting my paint brush in the red paint. I don't know how many of you guys have ever done that, but sometimes when I get talking, I, I don't concentrate as good. But look at that. This kit is really fast. I tell you. It's worth buying, and when you get it, I would love to see what you did with it. Because um, I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, and she did a whole mini camper set for her um, her family for like a display in their living room for um, the holidays, and she put pine cones all down the top of her campers. Huh. I was like, pine cones? And I thought at first that she like made them all tall. She pulled the pine cones apart and made like shingles. Oh, wow. So it was really, really cute. So I thought, oh my heck. So again, you can use all kinds of things and um, you can add stuff to this, to your little scene. Um, I even found a little child's, um, like a little dollhouse toy. That's like a little dresser. And I think I'm going to cut the legs down and make a barbecue out of it. Oh, super cute. I really, it would be so cute to go with this. And if you had a little barbecue that had a little turkey on it and, and um, you know, just something for the holidays. 
It would be kind of cute. You could just change it in and out. You could do a deer head one year. No. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, for those of you, for the friends who have just joined us, we got Pam watching, Bev Oliwa, Ron, uh, 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 Kim oh, Swordson. Yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our broadcast today. And hey, let uh, us know, do you like to camp? And how do you camp? Yeah. Do you glamp Hardcore camp? Hardcore tent style? Mm -hmm. Do you glamp camp? How, how do you do it? How do you do it? Because there's all kinds of ways to do it now, which is yes. really kind of cool. You know, um, my husband and I went on a uh, kind of a little mini vacation this last weekend, and we were at a place where there were RVs, and these RVs were like houses. I could <laughs> yes. not believe it. I was like, well, okay, that's quite a... All decked out, too, Oh, I my bet. gosh. I keep thinking of the pool in Goofy Movie, because I keep thinking somebody's going to have a pool on the top of their... <laughs> of their uh, RV because they, they were big. But um, I'm more of this size. This is me. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm with Shahar's thought process in this. As long as it has a bathroom. Yes, and a shower. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could, I guess, I guess I could, uh, you know, maybe one day sleep outside on the ground if I was really desperate, but I don't, I don't think I will. So, I mean, now look how cute that is. Adorable. And I'll just touch the little red up on top. So, you're going to get a little bit of the whites. Don't worry about it. I mean, look at that. Yes. That's just cute. And if you want to do two coats, um, sometimes it can look a little rough, depending on how light your coat is. But you're more than welcome to. If not, don't worry about it. Do it your way. So, we've got that all painted. So, I mean, look. Yes. I can just show that now. Look at this, how cute this is. Isn't that just sweet? Yes, and that red, I li love it how it pops. But then the co you've got the contrasting colors there. Mm -hmm. Very and it's nice. just simple. And this wood absorbs the, the paint super well, super mm -hmm. nicely too. You know what, I, the thing I love about this wood is it's forgiving. Like, I made a few mistakes on that that I didn't really like. And all I did was sand it down with a like a fine grit sandpaper and it I didn't do it too far but everything disappeared and I was like yes nice okay I'm going back you know I'm <laughs> like, gonna fix it so so here's what starts bringing this cute little trailer to life when we start adding in the accessories oh. so here's the wheel and I think I did that one gray did I do those are gray or black uh, I think it's black it's black I couldn't remember but you know how cute how absolutely cute. Um, inside right here in the wheel, you're gonna have to put your light color, and I'm gonna do that very, very last because I don't want that color to, the black to go on top of that. So that will be my very, very last thing to do. And then um, if you found your scrapbook paper, and you find something really cute that you like, I would find something that has pattern to it so you can either cut the pattern out or you can just, just do it in the triangle squares to make the little banner. And you can put the banner any way you want. It's just, it just looks really cute coming out. It kind of looks like a little hippie party, <laughs> you know? It's like, I would want to go there and enjoy it. Yeah, like I, what, I love the, the little flags that you have here and I, the little pole that holds it. And they all match. It just adds a touch. Mm -hmm. Helps tell that story. Well, exactly. I mean, um, you know, when you start thinking about things from your childhood and you start thinking about how cute some of these, oh, I can't even remember what they call them, the VW bugs and all that. You know, they're just, they're just adorable things that brought joy. And this, this just brings me joy. I hope it brings you guys joy too when you start making it and go, oh my gosh. And don't my forget, as a kid. Don't forget, you can have joy too. Just go to mondomarkettv.com <laughs> and get your vintage wood camper kit. Comes with everything that you need. Uh, all you'll need to do is open up that, that package when it arrives. Grab, pull out your acrylic paints and have a grand old time. So I highly me. encourage you to do it. Go there right now so you don't forget later. We have a special introductory price for you during the next 24 hours. So make sure to take advantage of that. Mondomarkettv.com is where you go to get your kit.
And you know what? I think you're going to really like it a lot. It's going to be a lot of fun. And um, I'm just touching up the little pieces of white that were on here so it really doesn't take that much. Now, this too is a really cute craft for kids. So, um, you know, if you want your, you know, preteens to do it, um, I think it'd be just a really, really cute idea to let them create their own, you know, glam camper or camper or whatever they want to do. It would be really cute. And for time's sake, I'm not going to paint the bottom, but I will paint that probably the same red color. So just so we have it. Oh. So now it's all about the finishing details. Yes, I'm. I the details is what changes everything, and that's what's really cool. So I think on the doors now, I am going to do those gray, and um, I have some really cool material here. I'm going to show you. So this is kind of the pattern that I'm working with. Is this? The grays, the black, the reds, and the off-white. Oh. So that's kind of what I'm going to do for the flags and everything. So I'm going to match my trailer to that. So I'm probably not going to do a lot of browns, but I will do some grays. I like it that you found a theme. There's a theme that you'll attach well, to this. You know, that's the interesting thing about um, doing crafting is some people like everything really congruent and i do too i think it's great and then there are some people who just want to be abstract and just do everything but when it all comes down to it it's what you're creating and how you're creating it and how you have made it look and so i just get really excited when i start thinking about things that are going to look really pretty in my house because we are nest builders so that's what we do <laughs> so now we're going to add the gray is going to go here on the door and right here on the bumper and right here on the tongue or the the hitch of the trailer but i'm gonna make my little pole probably black so we're just gonna bring that gray in and gray will require two coats it's just kind of a watered down look but it's really cute and easy. Oh my gosh, I love when I can do something. So say you're just crafting away and you're doing one of these these uh, vintage camper kits and you're watching like White Christmas, <laughs> no, you know, or something, something that you're watching on maybe the Hallmark Channel or something and you've got some popcorn and you've got a great drink and or you've got friends over and you're just doing a bunch of stuff. So I mean, you know, you could do a lot of different things and you could glam this up. You could do a ton of glitter on some and, and some people like that and some people don't. I'm probably not going to do glitter on this, which is totally fine. By the way, Chase said, my favorite way to camp is to go backpacking, hike in six to 10 miles, camp next to a crystal clear lake and enjoy the wildlife. And that's why we love hearing his stories. Yes. <laughs> we'll take the stories and sit at home. <laughs> and how relaxing that sounds. Oh, that sounds I mean, awesome. The six to 10 mile hike, I don't know about that, but <laughs> the that? crystal clear lake. Yeah. Yes. Oh, just the smell of the, the mountains alone oh, is, yes. it just cleanses your soul. The mountains, camping, traveling, it all just changes. It makes you feel good. So see, this is just starting to come to life. And I'll probably do another coat on that and I'm gonna do the outside edges and you're gonna get some on, the, on your base. So you can either base it afterwards. I just, I just do things this way, but you can do it however you want it. And then um, you're gonna get on your wheels, you're gonna get little, um, little tiny circles that you can make like a white wall. So you have a little white wall. Aw. Yeah, it'll be oh, really I see. cute. Like you did, like you did mm -hmm. in the sample one over here. Yeah, so you're gonna have, so it's not just gonna look like a big black round circle. And you can put spokes in it. You can do anything you want like that. But I mean, I, I just love this. I like the combination of the gray with the red that you've picked. Mm -hmm. It does look very vintagey though. You think it, so? It does have a little vintage feel to it, and I just left my thumbprint there. But um, 
You know, once you start, I'm going to actually, when I'm done with this, completely done, I'm going to stain it. Oh. So I'm going to antique it and make it look old. So, you know, it'll have a little bit of a darker black stain to it, but it'll be cute. And you will have to do a couple coats, like I say. Now, if you were to use the pine cone as shingles, are you going to cover that? Or I think we should try it. Uh, yeah, I like that idea. Cause I'm curious, I... do you just glue it with white glue? Um, I think she said she glued it with hot glue. Okay. So I don't know how long. The only thing with the hot glue is if it gets really hot in your camper and it's in your camper, I think they'll pop off. But, you know, for time's sake, we could try it and see what it would look like. But I think it's kind of cool. That's yeah. why I brought them because I thought, oh, maybe we could try that and see. And I've learned from previous episodes of your show that you can paint the pine cone too. Yes, you can. You can. I think you can pretty much paint anything you want as long as you've got the determination and patience. Patience is key. So there we go. So this is just kind of the generic look. And I'll let you, it's kind of wet on the back, but yeah. Look at this. Isn't that cute? So here we have the front and of course, yes. you can see the contrast of the, look how adorable this is. I how fun. Just sweet. Yes, and very cute. And then makes for a fantastic project and a perfect gift. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. So think think about the campers in your life and, uh, <laughs> and get them this kit. So cre get this kit for them, create it for them, paint it yes. for them, and give it to them. All you have to do is go to mondomarkettv.com to get yours. We have a special introductory price during the next 24 hours. This is perfect and it gives you ample time to create this gift and prepare it for them just in time for Christmas. So I encourage you to go there. It comes with everything that yep. you need. Comes with the actual camper, the wooden camper. It's super lightweight too, which is fantastic. Uh, comes with the, uh, the, the string. It comes with the, the little table, the, the table setting with the, the, chairs, the chairs, everything. All you have to do is pull out the paints and have a good time doing it. So mondomarkettv.com is where you go to get yours. Do that right now and uh, have fun doing this because look how cool, how cute, how adorable, how unique, how, how thoughtful, yeah. and yes, how fast. How fast. That, you know, it's, what I like about the fast projects is that you feel accomplished quickly. Yeah, you get it done. Because sometimes when you have really long projects, you're like, oh, I never finish anything, you know, that yep. kind of thing. Well, no, this, you'll feel, yes. You'll get it done. Accomplished. It's really interesting because when I started doing that camper, I started thinking about all the different things I could do. Like I was thinking about fire pits. I was thinking about, you know, little barbecues. There are so many different things that you can actually um, do with a little scene on your kitchen table. I mean, if you're a Nana like me, I mean, oh my gosh. It would be so cute to have a little camper on the table and I, you know, my little grandsons will see this one and go, oh, Nana. But I mean, it'll just be cute. And then they'll talk about it and they won't hurt it. That's the thing, they're not gonna hurt it. Yeah. So, so what I'm doing right now is I am painting this little mini popsicle stick. And I'm painting it off white because this is gonna be the base for my poles for my flags. Oh, that's how so you did it. I wanna show you how I did it. And you're gonna get these sticks, plus you get the little squares. By the um, way, Regina said hi, says hi. Hello, hi, Regina. Oh, but how fun! I mean, how fun will this be to have a little conversation piece and then have somebody say, "Where did you get that?" And you're like, "I made it." That's the coolest thing ever. Because every time I see something on Shahar's desk, I'm like, "Oh, you made that!" Because <laughs> I know she makes stuff and it's really good. So it gets me really excited. So. We're gonna put this together and I'm just gonna paint the base on it. Now, depending on how you want your table, just choose your colors. Um, I have a little spool here and it is white. I think I'm gonna just paint it an off white. But I think I'm gonna do the top of the table black. Mm. I know that sounds kind of funky, but, and I'm gonna do the chairs, the little benches, I guess you would say. I think I'll do those gray. And then I'll show you what I'm going to put on the table. And it's really easy. I mean, this is a cute little spool. And all you have to do is just put it right down 
paint everything and put it right down. So these, and then your little wheel, you'll come with these, it'll come with these little tiny round um, pressed circles. And so this will go on top of the wheel. Oh. So cute, huh? Very cute. And then it gives it just that little bit more of a vintage feel. And uh, it looks like a little white wall tire. Yes, and I love how unique this is. It is. It's unique, fast to create, mm -hmm. super fun to do. And it is a feel fuzzy good craft. Yeah. Because really, I mean, if you've got really great um, memories of craft, or not crafting, but camping, this, this is absolutely one of the crafts that you'll want to have. So I'm going to paint this little, these little pieces black right here. And then I'm going to do these two gray. But I mean, how cute. And then you're going to love what I have for the, for the floor. So uh -huh. we're going to just do a little black here. And like I say, these are fast. And the wood on this is lightweight too. So if your kids, your grandkids, they pick it up and they decide that they're gonna play with it, it's okay. It's not gonna hurt them. And you can, um, if you want to, you don't have to paint the bottoms of them. I do, but um, for time's sake today, I'm just gonna paint the tops. But, cute, cute, cute. And then I'll show you like how we're gonna make those little flags. And um, the little flags I'm going to make today are going to be out of um, fabric. Ooh. So those are scrapbook. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of fabric. So really, it's, very, it's a super versatile project because you can oh, decorate yes. with pretty much anything that you have mm -hmm. and find the decoration that is just perfect and totally right for you for your specific project. I Absolutely. love when you can do that, when you have like full gam gamut of what you can do to create. It's not, it's, mm -hmm. it's not set in stone for you. So if you find a fabric that you like, you can use it. If you, if you have a paper, uh, a craft, a scrapbooking paper that you really love, you can mm -hmm. use it. That's, that's super awesome because you can make it you. Any of it. Any of it. And that's the thing is, I know if you're like me, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are, you have crafting supplies coming out your ears. <laughs> I, I know, but I can go back and find a, you know, a little bit of a leftover craft that I did, and then I can find a little piece, and I'm like, oh, that's perfect. And then you just start adding. So these are going to be the benches, and you can add detail to these. You can cover them. You can make little baby pillows for them. <laughs> I mean, really, you can do whatever you want. Um, it would be actually, oh, you know, it would be really cute is to have... Uh, all you have to do is take ribbon and um, a couple cotton balls and you could hot glue a little square together and make a, or well, actually a rectangle and you could make pillows. Huh. So there's lots of stuff Clever. you can do. It's like you're playing house. It, you know, it really <laughs> is. And it's kind of like, yeah, um, you see those apps where they build your, build your room. Oh yeah. This is kind of like build your craft. So you get to see. Build your camper. Build your camper. Without the bugs. Mm-hmm. And the <laughs> and the fire following you and but that's kind of the fun of it too. So so while we've been chit chatting here, look how much we've gotten done, which is awesome. Yes, and if, if you, you notice, I like to get dirty. <laughs> if you if you're into creating projects quickly, but enjoying that ride and creating super unique pieces. This is just a project for you. It's the Vintage Camper Trailer Wooden Kit. Just go to mondomarkettv.com to get yours right now. We have a special introductory price. And take advantage of that because it's a wonderful opportunity to get started with this project. You'll see the, the, mm -hmm. the kit comes with everything that you need. It comes with the camper, the actual wooden camper that you see there. It comes with the poles that you can do with the flags and the little tables and the, the, the little table setting, the tables and the seats. Uh, fantastic. So highly, highly, highly recommend uh, you going there right now to get yours. Look at this. Look at how wonderful and how Thank adorable you. this looks. I mean, we're doing this together. You're seeing how fast, how quick this is and how adorable it is. So uh, definitely 
uh, perfect product project for you. And if you if you're into giving gifts, think about it. Christmas is right around the corner. This get it now. This way you can get started mm -hmm. on your gifts. And this would be a super unique one to give. So mondomarkettv.com. Mm -hmm. This would be cute to give to your parents. Yes. Because if your parents are like my parents, I mean, this is this is what they remember. So you know, it's cute. part. Of, yes, and and like you said earlier, it's part of lots of memories, childhood memories with your family lots. going camping. Well, yeah. So I'm gonna actually put. This is the thickest glue I have ever used, and I really like it. I might have to trade it. Why is it good for this? Um, this once it dries on here, it's gonna dry completely, um. and so. But I'm not going to be able to get that one undone. So I'm going to try this with a little hot glue. By the way, we've got Mel just joined us. Welcome, Hi, Mel. Mel. We're creating an adorable camper. Look at this. This is a great, great project. Super fun. Very unique. Mel, thanks for joining us. When you put, um, when you do this, just put a little dab of hot glue. And then that way it will stick. But I mean, now it's changed the tire into... Oh tire. yeah, now it became a tire. Now it's a tire. Which yeah. is really Okay, so cool. let's do the before and after. How about that? Yeah. So here is the tire before, just the black, which looks fine. But then ta da ta ta yeah, just a it's tiny a little dot and it changes everything. And you really could you could do a white circle around the circle uh -huh. to make it a bigger white wall. It would be cute. It would be really cute. So now we're gonna take the tabletop. Ooh. And all I'm going to do is hot glue. Oh, and you've got a... that edge together. So this is it. So hot glue it. I'm going to rub the excess off. And then I'm just going to let it sit for just a minute. But that makes your table. And then you can put whatever you want on top. And I think I have this cute little material. And I think what I'll do is I am just gonna cut out a circle of a bear. And I'm actually gonna put it right on top of there. And I'll have to find one that's on the edge. Don't go into the middle of your material, but look at this. So I'm just gonna cut this. And I'm just gonna, I'm actually just gonna glue it right onto the top this out. I'm not even going to follow the pattern. I'm just going to kind of make it into a circle. But look how fun. This is going to change this whole thing. Yeah, and I it love doesn't it. have I to be I love that you have a bear. I, you and I, we, we understand the bear thing. <laughs> so there you go. And I'm actually going to take this and I'm going to use a small little stick here and I'm just going to put some of this clear glue right onto the back. So see, that's all I'm doing. I'm not even decoupaging this. You can decoupage. So, you know, or you could powder, you could do powder pull on this. <laughs> There's all kinds of stuff. So there's my little bear. Get these off. Now check this out. And just Isn't put them on there. Isn't that cute? It's a yes. little bear table. And you just put that right there. That's very cute. It's very cute. Oh, you are very clever. <laughs> <laughs> now check this out. You have just made a, table. a bear table. A bare table. Okay, now look at this cute little bare table. So I mean, to go with your camper. There's so many things that you can do. Yes, I love that that you can get the fabric that you like and just mm -hmm. pick the little pieces that will help you tell your story and then just add it to your project. Add it to your project. Yes. So now there's a bench. Ta-da! Okay, I'm gonna do another bench. Put the camper here off to the side. And just try and make them even when you do them. Table. 
And those Your these little, little boards, these little wood pieces actually fit the little square pieces at the bottom. So put it oh yes now here's something that's going to be really cute for how cute for the underneath it so i just have some ribbon here that's black and white oh so what are you going to do with that this is what is so cool about crafting so we're going to take this and so when you come out of your camper Oh, look how cute that is. Everyone knows you need to have the tablecloth there, the, the little. Mm, that's a little runner, like a, a little, little runner. carpet. So, oh, yes. So see how cute? And Super cute. If you were doing it for Christmas. Hey, oops, I, and I you did a little Christmas tree aw, on the side. Look at that. Push that back down. See, Where it's do you not want? completely dry because we go so fast here, but. But see? I mean, it's yes. so cute. That is super cute. I love cute, it. Cute, cute, cute. Yes. So, I want to show you really quick um, the banners. The little oh, tiny yes. Banners. The little flags. Yes, because it's really cute. So um, on the top, there's you'll get a little peg that'll go on the top. It'll be there with your string. So this peg, this, what is, oh, it's for your flag. This peg is for your flag. So on my um, display one, I put a little ball on the top and I didn't really like it. I didn't really like the ball because then it, I couldn't move my string up and down very good. Oh. So I like this one a little bit better. So you just do it the height that you want and then you're just gonna glue it a little bit and then I'm gonna show you how to do your, um, your little peg hair. So you're just gonna take your material. Regina said, love it, oh, right? Thanks. It's adorable. It's fun, 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 fun. So because I'm doing this theme of the grays, the blacks, and the red buffalo check, I am just going to cut out some little triangles. So I'm just going to do, and you can do whatever size you want. So I'm going to do maybe, I think, six on each side is what I did before. And they don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be the same size. If you want to, you can. But remember, if you're going to do six of the same, then do cut yourself two of each of the different patterns. Or you can do them all one color. Like I say, this is up to you. This is your your uh, craft, so we're not going to tell you what you have to do. But see, there's one for each side. So I've got two of the, kind of the red, the burgundy, and then I'll do two of these little gray ones. I love the banners. I think the banners are really cute. I think they just add that touch, that mm -hmm. oof to it. When I took some young um, girls up to a camp one year, I made them great big banners to put out because um, I was the one of the food ladies. and. And it was pretty hilarious because they they had banners everywhere and they thought I was crazy. <laughs> but it was so much fun. And I thought it was really cute. And so I just decided, yeah, we'll just do this. So so see I'm just I'm just creating I'm just creating different patterns. And this little guy right here. Just little triangles, and they're pretty much all the same size. Mm -hmm. And you're going to get a piece of string that is in your, your, in your kit. kit. And just paint the tops of this. I'm going to actually just tie a knot in this really quick. So I actually wrap it around a couple times. I try to make this the um, them a little bit even, and then I'm going to tie it into a knot. So I'm just going to it right here so because you want to be able to have at least the same size on both of your your um, sides of your banner and then what I do is I just glue so I'm just gonna glue all the way down and I'll just glue this one just to kind of show you and just paint your little your little blocks whatever color that you want but I mean, banners are really fun. They're really cute, they're really fun. 
and you're keeping with your theme. So you can do, do your little theme like this. Keep your little pegs up. But how adorable. I love the buffalo chick. I don't know. There are some people who don't really like it, but I think it's a lot of fun. I think it, it's got a lot of character to it. So I'm just going to add one right there. But all you have to do is just glue it straight onto the string. And I'm going to put this one in the middle. Let's see. You know what? I'm actually going to add this one. So we're just going to do a little bit of this kind of check. Color right there. But see? See how cute? So it's just a little easy project to do. A lot of fun. It's a fabulous project. Very unique. I love it that it's so unique and so different. So MondoMarketTV.com is where you can get your wooden vi vintage camper uh, kit. It comes with what you need for it. It comes with the actual vi wooden camper for you to deck out. Uh, you'll get the little tables, the little chairs, the, the pin for the top oh, no. for the little flag poles, the string, everything. All you need is the, all you need to have is really uh, your favorite beverage and your acrylic paints and you can really go to town decking out this vintage camper. You have a <laughs> lot of fun in your studio uh, creating the <laughs> stories that will come with this camper. So yes. MondoMarketTV.com is where you go to get yours. We have a special introductory price during the next 24 hours. So go there. You won't believe the price when you see it. It is less than dinner out. Absolutely. It's less than dessert. So I highly encourage you to go there. And the price, uh, you can never, you can't even add a va a price to it of a, of what when you gift it, right? Like it's it's invaluable because it will be thoughtful. It mm -hmm. will be uh, it's yes. Yeah, so definitely get it. Uh, MondoMarketTV.com. It's a good heartwarming exactly gift. heartwarming it really, it really is and now you put the the little pole so for I'm the flag pull in but i would glue it so once you get it in glue it and then you're going to paint these and for time's sake i'm not going to paint them but so we've already painted this one white so you just go like this and you could cover this with something you could cover it you could do whatever you want with it but check Check it out. So now we're going to glue this to the top. Actually, I'm going to glue it to the back. Excuse me, the top back. And I'm just going to pull it so it's right there. And like I say, if you're not used to touching hot glue. <laughs> so now let's move that little tree right there. So you put your little camper there. Whoops, sorry. So check it out. There's your little banner. And you can have it any height you want. So if you have it up higher, your banner's going to show. You can really just play with the positioning Just play with it, yeah. But it's How really cute. How cute, yes. I really love it. Put your it. little Christmas tree yeah. next to it. Put um, it on a piece of wood so you have something rustic. Uh-huh, just to tie in that Something that's that outside. Look. Yeah. And there you go. I mean, that's Very nice. basically how easy it is to put it together and have some fun with it. Yes. Check it out. Regina said, it's a part of you. Always when you took the time to make it for someone else. It's a great yeah. gift project. Yeah, I Absolutely. I totally agree with you. Absolutely. Exactly. I love it. So again, it's a really easy kit. It's a fun kit. I think we should try and put the pine cones. I think. Oh yeah, I'm so curious I'm, how that how that will work. I am. So we're. This is off the cuff. <laughs> we're we're just trying this because. This is an idea. So if you want to give the the camper that look of the shingles on mm -hmm. top. The little pine cone shingles. Pine cones. So how do you you have just regular pine cones there? Right and then what do you have? What tool is that? Well, this is just um, wire cutters. Okay. So it's a simple little pair of wire cutters, but. Um, you have to look at your pine cones too because sometimes they'll be able to, you can pop them off. Oh, without the cutters? Yes, but look at that. Can you see that? That little pokey right here? Uh-huh. It will poke the tar out of you. Oh. It's like a goat head, if anybody knows what a goat head is. 
They hurt like <laughs> crazy. So do you would uh, trim trim those off? Trim these off. So you either can cut them off or you can just pull them out because I don't think you need them very long. But then even out your ends. I'm pretty sure you're gonna need to even out your ends. But I would use this side down because see how dark it is? Let's see. So, so you would do which side down? I would do the dark side down. Okay. Or, yeah, so the dark side's showing. So have the dark side up, and then... Um, so you would glue it like this. Mm -hmm. Boom. With the, this is the darker side of right. the pine cone. And um, sometimes you can get in here and, like, really dig for them. Pine cones are messy, so just be prepared for a mess. But I would wear some gloves because that little point on the end is wicked. They can, they can do damage just like on our... Um, the family farm, we have like tons of goat heads and they like hurt you. So, see how cute that would be? Let's oh. pull a couple of these off and let's see. see. Actually, let's put this over there because then they okay. can see it from the top. So Ooh, let's, yes. Let's put this right here. So I'm gonna take this little banner out. We're just gonna leave that little guy right there. So look, look how cute that is. And I didn't have to paint it, I didn't have to do anything. So if you're going to adds that yeah. touch. So if you're going to do the pine cones, my suggestion would be um, get them all cut out or you know pulled apart and ready to go. And then I would just layer them. So I would just keep layering them in a row and just try your best to just make it even, but it's it's pine cones, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And remember, it's a handmade project. Yeah. It definitely doesn't have to be perfect. Definitely. So. Uh, Lori sent in the, the little heart emojis. Oh. She like loves it. Oh. You know what? I, I love when I talk to people who craft because they always give me the funnest ideas, and I just, I just really love it because it's an expression of them and an expression of me. So see, if you were layering this, Look how cool that would look as a vintage camper mm -hmm. with pine cones as shingles. Yes. So, I mean, if you had that all covered, I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> I think you're going to do that. It'll be doing super material. cute. Yeah. So, again, an easy, easy, easy craft that's fun, inexpensive. You've got to have this one in your Christmas decor or whatever you want um, to put it, you know, to display it because this is a really fun um, project. And it's a warm and fuzzy project, too. It definitely is. Here, let's put the little yep. table setting there. And, I mean, you saw how to create these. But, I mean, you you know, like I say, you could put flowers all over them. You can just make it your style. That's the beauty make of this. You. you got your little flags. Mm -hmm. Move your little glue from there. So you just go. Let's see. Put your care. tree. I mean, how cute is that? I get so excited <laughs> when I see adorable. stuff like this. So and you're just gonna do two of these. So you'll do the other side, do your little triangles. Look on screen how cute that is, Sh Shalyn. I'm just so happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so cute. <laughs> and then once you display it out on your table, I mean, people are gonna love it. They really are. And that's the cool thing is, you know, you're just bragging about your talent because it is a talent. Most, some people can't, can't put crafts together. But and it can be a, a, a table setting. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have pine cones, oh, move yeah. it around it. You could put little pine cones. You could even do um, little mini lodgepole trees around the back of it and really oh, make a camping yeah. scene. And if you really want to get technical, you could do <laughs> paper on the back of like those fold outs and then have like a camping scene and you could just put that up against a wall somewhere. Oh, adorable. You could make a little village. So like a Christmas <laughs> village. You could really have a good you time really with this. You really could do a lot. <laughs> if you drilled a hole through the bottom so you could put a light in it, you could actually light oh, it up. Oh, with those little LED lights? Yes. The flicker even? And Ooh, you could yes. put little LED lights on here as well. Oh, how cool. <laughs> possibilities are endless. They yes. Are endless. Yes. I could stand here and tell you like 9,000. get a few of these, get together with some girlfriends and just, just really have a good time. I'm glamping. Yeah. See, this <laughs> Craft is, glamping. This is the little tiny um, piece of wood furniture I found, and I'm oh, actually yes. going to make little burners on here, cut the legs down a little bit, and then there's a barbecue. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, there's so many cute things that you can do, so just, just go for it. And you could even make a little fire pit here. 
You could do little rocks around some chicken wire, some tiny chicken wire like this. Cut it in half, fold, you know, you fold it over. Oh. So you're gonna fold it over and then you're just gonna go into a circle and then you want to put a little base in there. So I would put some paper, some type of paper or construction paper, something that's heavy like cardstock and then just glue the little tiny river rocks all Aww. the way around. And if you want to make fire, <laughs> so I figured out fire. You figured out fire? Figured out fire. I've been trying to figure this out for a little while, but this is fake ice. So this is what? just fake ice that you get at, this, at the little craft store. So oh. It's just fake ice. What you do is you paint the top of it a yellow, and then after that, you paint the middle part of it red and orange oh. a little bit, and then spray paint the bottom black. I see, you've given this thought. It, it this is look perfect like for the fire because look how it has yeah. a fire type shape almost. So it'll look yeah. like it's just red coals. It's not gonna be flames, but it's just gonna look oh, like little yeah. coals. Oh yeah. So I think that'd be really fun too. So definitely. There's, there's so many things you can do and I, I could load your brain up with a lot of it. <laughs> Robin also sent the little heart emoji, yes. Oh, Robin. Yes. All right, friends, you have to try oh. this. MondoMarketTV.com is where you can get yep. your vintage camper wooden trailers exclusive to Mondo Market TV. So go there right now to get yours. During the next 24 hours, we have a special introductory price for you. This is less than a dessert, less than an ice cream out. So yeah. definitely go get it. And the fun and the joy that it will bring you is tremendous. Plus this, it. just like Regina said, this makes for the perfect gift. So I highly encourage you to get one uh, just for that. Do it, do it. I mean, just in time for Christmas, you'll yeah. have time to do it. It's a fast project, but yep. it's such a thoughtful from the heart type of project. So mondomarkettv.com is what you, where you get yours okay so any final awesome. comments you'd like to leave our friends with today i what did we have our hashtag was um glamper yeah i think so hashtag, hashtag glamper, glamper. <laughs> i think that's really cool because when we start creating and using our minds and creating all kinds of different things we can make things amazing and i just love coming here every week and our fans are wonderful and our crafts are fun and they're easy to do and you know, we just start go crafting. Yeah. Yeah, craft that's on. right. Craft, craft on. on. Yes, yes, yes. Regina said, thank you, gals. Thank you oh, for joining us every thank week. You. Thank you, Wilma. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Robin. Thank you, all of you gals Everybody. for joining us. Uh, we really have a good time with you. And don't forget, we're here every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Mountain Time. That's 2 Pacific, 3 Mountain, 4 Central, 5 Eastern, right here on Mondo Market TV. We have a fabulous lineup of shows each week. Uh, we've got the Hourglass, so if you're a glass fuser, every other Tuesday with Jody McCraney Russell. That's a fantastic show. And of course, an awesome show, The Sparkle of Creativity yep. with Shahar every Thursday, same time, uh, for, uh, 3 p.m. East, uh, 3 p.m. Mountain Time, uh, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. So. Join us, join us each week for a fantastic programming uh, because we get you. We're crafters ourselves right. and we just really, truly enjoy yep. doing this and we love hanging out with you. We so um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much uh, for being here with us today. Don't forget to get your kit at mondomarkettv.com. See you next time.